three Anaconda coils are clutching around Russia. This is done by the United States, whose main trouble is democracy. But President Putin, by God's will, is building a society out of Russia that aspires to eternity. This is a quote from a three-hour lecture by Alexei Vats to officials and heads of public organizations in one of the regions of the Russian Federation. Vats himself is a co-founder of the pro-Putin biker club Night Wolves and more recently a lecturer for the state organization Knowledge Society. The first comedian received his 80-slide presentation with the following content. Figuratively speaking, the result of the first compression of the Anaconda coil was the destruction of the Warsaw Pact. The second contraction was the elimination of the Soviet Union. Now our enemies have come very close to the third stage, the ultimate goal of which, so far of course not advertised, should be the liquidation of the Russian Federation as an independent sovereign state. A fragment of White's presentation from the publication in Verstka. These lectures for Putin's officials are analogs of the so-called conversation on important things, propaganda sessions for school children that the Kremlin introduced in the autumn of 2022. On November 22, 2023, Bostrykin, head of Russia's investigative comedy, proposed the adoption of a unified state ideology. The fact that this initiative directly contradicts the constitution of the Russian Federation does not bother the head of the investigative comedy. A whole class is being created in Russia and a layer of Soviet ideological workers is being reanimated. This used to happen through different party structures. Today there is no single party with its key role. That is why it is done through the authorities, militarization of education, militarization of the labor process, where various veterans and mock Russian soldiers are supposed to talk about how Russia is under siege and how how everyone wants to destroy it. It is noteworthy that the Kremlin sends different political officers to different audiences, sometimes with mutually exclusive theses. Recently, Patriarch Kirill of the Russian Orthodox Church said that Russia does not need an official ideology because it has spirituality. Employees of the Center for Contradicting Extremism and the head of the so-called Safe Internet League, the daughter of Senator Yekaterina Mizulina, all of them come to give lectures to students, but school children are the most effective. For example, some schools held a military patriotic dictation, a quiz with questions about, quote, Ukrainian provocations, and in Magadan, participants in the war against Ukraine performed this song in front of children. <laughs> The main battle is ahead. Only find faith to destroy their diabolical coven. Against us is globalism and liberal fascism. Satan's black mass. Teachers are also massively involved in propaganda. In Chuvashia, teachers were forced to compile lists of parents of school children disloyal to Putin. This order was given by the Education Committee of the city of Chiboksare to the directors of the city schools. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavsky. Данила Кобза, UATV News.